It's chapter four. The patient. Of course. With another suitably creepy loading screen. Well, yeah. I mean, how, the question is like, uh, does it? <laughs> how long does the load last? Because it just loses creepiness as it goes. Oh no! They oh, they I... start throwing like curveballs and making shit appear at the end of the loading later oh, on. Oh yeah! I just noticed that there was bleeding handprints in that window. Yeah. Ah, oh, the hospice. Yes, Leslie was being treated here See, years ago. See, we've changed. We've, you can tell the game's changed like uh, signature because it's like. Rather than just, just being in random ass places, we're actually continuing into like places that flow into each other now. Yeah, when he said, ah, oh, the hospice, I expected the camera to turn around and just to be like a new building. I hope you're ready for an escort quest. This guy's with us for the entire chapter. Oh, joy. Also, that goat doesn't look like it's having a good time. No. It took me a while to work out it was a goat. I was like, what? Yeah, no, same. I have no idea what that, like, Hey, look at that is thing. I because I wandered off over here instead. It's probably like D you, your guy's going. Bye. No, he comes back. So the trick the trick here is yeah, you walk around here till he says I see something move, and then you stealth back. Because then this guy breaks his way out, and then you can just murder him. Sweet. Oh, he is a fat man. Yeah, this is where they introduce the concept of there are fatties who take a billion bullets. Even to the even to the schnozberry. Yep. They're just, they're, it's the it's the classic big enemy has more health. Mm, the sponge. Yeah, they're pretty annoying. This one's one of my favorite big enemy designs. I don't know why. I just think all the all the glass sticking out of him looks really cool. I mean, yeah. Not not. I wouldn't personally like it to be done to me. Just, but it looks cool. <laughs> I can safely say that just about everything in any part of this game ever. Like, look at the one in his face. It's like a mo. Yeah. It's like a mohawk of glass. Almost. That's his horn. You know, the, those, those front ones that, like, like when people get their hair and gel it into a spike on the front? Yeah, uh, the pompadour sort yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, but, like, the mohawk spike. Oh, didn't turn around in time. Yeah, it's... Just, it's you can catch people turning around, you just hammer A, just to make sure you... <laughs> Twitch. I, mean, her group I only wanted to be a dancer! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not finished with this world! Yeah. I just I should just end superimpose one of the Aussie gamers <clears throat> on top of it. <clears throat> so yeah, so here's our first map piece for this uh thing. This this chapter has a bunch of really easy but easily missable map pieces. Yep. In my opinion, that's one of them because you have to turn around and look. Like rather than, you know, following the guy running off. Yeah. We get our first grenade. Yeah, granada. Also they're stick grenades. How it ended up in private hands is unknown. No kidding. I'm not really sure. If I actually feel like there's some significance to the fact that you have stick grenades or anything, but I'm not really sure what it is. I don't know. that They're thematically dope. They are, but I feel like it ties into something. Hmm. Okay. Also, I now really want to do, like, Metal Gear Solid, but Aussie Gamer style, just so that I can keep on doing... <laughs> 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 I'm just going around. It just takes too much editing work. That guy needs to stop shouting. Oh, shit. he's gonna shout the entire chapter. You got like sneaking, like he can see you crouch and then sneak to and from a location. He's like, hey, hey, over there. So we got another journal. This is in February two thousand and five. So this is three months after this. So Mario was almost killed this afternoon, shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's going to be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking I was going to lose her without telling her how I really feel, was unbearable. I think she feels the same way. There's something undeniable between us. It's against the code of conduct, but I have to let her know how I feel about her. I hope I'm not setting myself up for embarrassment. See, the twist is, he just really wants to tell her she's got a nice ass. Yeah. God, I... Every time I see you, I'm like, God, I love those backhands. <laughs> it's just, damn. God, you could bounce a thousand pounds of nickels up. Wow, take that box. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, the follow through. Oh, that box. See, we got, no double, got, we got double jars from that, so I mean... Yeah, absolutely. So, when you go into the thing... Where? Okay... It's... everything's normal. Fair enough. I mean, the creep... Uh, is the... is the nurse Myra? 
<laughs> uh, her name is Tatiana. Oh, uh, right, okay. I, guess I, don't so. ever, I don't think it ever says that in the game, but if you look at her model in the model viewer, she is called... What, the Twitch? Yep. I keep thinking it's the game being glitchy, but I'm like, oh, maybe that was on purpose, I don't know. That, that was on purpose. Okay, cool. Everything that's... Everything that possibly might be about to happen is on purpose. <laughs> Alright, ignore the creepy shit, we got a new newspaper. It's, impo Yay. it's important. I mean, ignore the blood stain too. Great. So, missing patient found, caretaker worried sick, psychiatric patient missing since last Tuesday was found hiding in a photography study. Uh, physician Val Valero Jimenez says at God's will. Hmm. Also, that blood splatter looked like a screaming face with a beard. Yep. Speaking of uh, Valero Jimenez, oh. he's also missing and looks like Dr. Eggman. <laughs> I can't unsee it. Uh, he makes me think of um, uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, he does. He's like Teddy Roosevelt. Like, that's the other thing I thought, but I just... You can't say if I want to point out. Uh, I just I just can't not see Dr. Eggman. So here's another one of the really is easily missable map pieces. Uh, if you go into your own cell, there's one on the floor. Which I take it will not be there if you try again later. Yes. And also, like, it's kind of hidden because it's just like, hey, the nurse is at the end of the corridor, let's go down here. And if you do that, well, it's like, well, you just missed the map piece. I don't even say- oh, right. It's- <laughs> yeah. Do so you remember to check the toilet? It's- I, there was no shiny. Uh. I feel like it was that one time. Alright, now pull your gun on the bitch. No, not that way. No. Is that you? No, it's coming from the cell. No. Is it the doctor? That's what I keep trying to work out. Huh. The guy you're with. No, it didn't sound enough like him. But it kind of does. Like a, like a little bit. Is she making a blowjob joke? <laughs> so many new admissions. I don't know. Let go of me! Let go of me! I, I feel like it is. Maybe. Hmm. What? See, so yeah, this is the other missable map piece. It's right there on the thing, on the sink. Oh, neat. But if you don't get it, there again, you miss it. Mm. It's a sonar of terror. Fine, fine. Oh, Leslie. Fine, 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 fine. fine. But he, fine. why is he in our safe room? Fine. fine. Because he's fine. That's true. He made the crunchy noise. There's not going to be a nice face there. You don't look well at all. Do take care of yourself. You bitch! <laughs> I had a throat on you! And now the safe room's totally back to normal. Okay. We can now You're right, that was not easy with a hangover. <laughs> Ugh. So yeah, we have, uh... We can do all our stuff. We can upgrade. We can open lockers. We can... Yeah. Sweet. How many more map pieces are there by this point? There are, tw to there are 28 total. Oh, okay, so fucking tons. So, and what, what we're up to, like, what, seven? Something like mm -hmm. that? Yeah, just pointing out, you can go out through the window. I, I, I just really think that you, like, what I'm expecting there is you're just staring into a mirror and he's just, like, stood next to you, like, waving his hand in front of your face. Yeah, no, yeah, in fact, hit you walking towards the shed and going, oh, no, not that way, no, what, where are you, come on! <laughs> so I pointed out that axe before we went in, but if you pick it up and then try and go in, you lose the axe, so don't pick it up. Oh, I see. Oh. That, we fucked oh. up. Were you meant to be able to save her? Let's find out. Let's first, like, make him explode. And then use our magical time powers. And shoot him in the knees. So yeah, you can totally save her. Okay, good for her. It's the first time I've actually done it, because I always thought she was just another haunted, but she's not. If you go in here... She vanishes, but she gives you a reward. You get... Oh, lovely. You get brain goop. Neat. And then there's just some harpoons in here, and that's it. I always wondered why that, that hut was there. It just seemed really pointless, but that makes more sense. Fair enough. I mean, she, where else are you going to go cry after a nearly burning? It's the harpoon room. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. We must find my patience less than Shut up. <laughs> He's got such well-timed comments. Hey, Prinku. Hi there. She's doing karate action. Look at those hands. <laughs> She's missing the legs part of the crane kick right there. <laughs> when, <laughs> when do right, no can defense. <laughs> She always falls down as well when you pick the brain goop up. I guess it's supposed to be a jump scare, but it's too bloody gentle and in your vision to I think work. I don't think it's supposed to be a jump scare. I think it's supposed to be it's like, oh shit, she's alive, kind of thing. Yeah. I guess. That would be my guess. More syringes we don't need. What could have happened here? Are you kidding? There's so many questions about everything about that place. It's true, but we are playing, you know, Sebastian Castellanos, who is his. We've already been over this. His, of his many powers that we've mentioned, what, his main power is the ability to not be phased by anything that would be totally fucking insane. Good point. Don't you fret. Doc, no, don't. Valerio, it's me. The good doctor is here. This is my brother. I'm sure he's fine. Let's say his original doctor. Peel away. Like he's fine, right? That's what. That's he's just operating. Yes, expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? Oh shit! It's Doctor Eggman. Oh no, Roosevelt! <laughs> Roosevelt! <laughs> this guy can actually be a real pain in the ass. I can't, the, the, on my practice run that I, didn't, that I recorded but didn't use the footage from, he like, just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Do you just psychic him back together again? No, I think it's like a, um, like a flashback of what made him go cra- it's, it's weird, I'm not really sure. It's like... Ah, my brain. Yeah. See, that, that that's pretty fucked up. It is. It's some messy shit right there. Yeah, but it's like the fact that his um, massive head wound was caused by him scratching his head open. Impossible. Alright, don't touch your head. Oh, there's keys in that guy's guts. Mm-hmm. I feel like that guy should really tell you more about everything, considering he's in this situation. And so then we're like, by the way, cryptic commentary. I agree, but it makes sense that he doesn't. Story. <laughs> I was seeing how uh, high up you could stab him, but no. Uh, oh. It's back, actually back, pretty back, neat. Back, I'm gonna be honest, back, like, back. opening with, like, it's pretty neat. Like, not neat isn't that's a cool thing, it's like, it's a neat that, uh, it just, it's a very neat cut that opens. Yep. As yeah, <laughs> that fucking hurt him, probably. Yep, but we got a key, so it's fine. Fuck you, dick. I'm not gonna lie, I tried to set him on fire, but it doesn't let you, so I just hit him instead. Why do I feel like I've heard you say that before? <laughs> what? <laughs> are you, are you saying I'm like, that? am I flashbacking? Why did you, you, you claim you have an arsonist? You, you, when he can't burn things, just gets angry and punches them? Uh, no, I'm sure I've heard you describe that exact same, like, I mean, I tried to, I, I tried to set on five, it didn't work, so I just started punching him instead. I'm like, I'm, you've said that before about, like, some other earlier part of this game. I take offense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sure you have. I thought that was the most spot on deja vu. Who knows? Fuck you, boxes. This is me forgetting controls again. Uh, it, throw it on the ground. Oh, Actually, no, it's it, it's not that I'm forgetting controls. It's because I didn't realize I had my gun out. Because shoot and punch are... If you if you press shoot when you have no gun out, you punch. Which is what I mostly use to break things. And I had my gun out, and thus I was confused. Because it's like, why, why is it not punching? You can punch with your gun out, it's just a different button. Oh. I was going to say, a gun whipping sounds like it'd be effective. Fucking shut up, doctor. He won't shut up until the end of the chapter. When he dies? God, I hope he gets exploded. <laughs> Dramatically. There are boxes. He's looking at them like, you should loot those boxes. Oh, you've left them. You left the boxes. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Like, he was even trying to give you clues. I'll be honest, the reason I didn't break the boxes is because there's a haunted around her. Yeah. 
that came from outside. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I incidentally, Leslie will be in the same place no matter what, so you totally don't have to come in here at all. You can just go straight to where Leslie is and the it'll trigger. Huh. Like I'm 99% sure. Also, that doctor's line delivery was weird. Like, huh, oh, Leslie's out there. He yes. <laughs> it's almost like it. he's letting. He knows more than he's letting on. But that can't be true. No. Yeah, this guy. I was like, does he see me through the. Yeah, he sees me through. Shut up, dog. Lazy cunt. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's super annoying when they do the axe waving while on the floor. Because that can totally hit you. And you don't have that much control over Sebastian when you're trying to light things on fire. He kind of just fucking goes the way he wants to and then throws a match. Ah, I'm here now. Shut up, Doc. It's, it's like, nice shooting. I wasn't even in the room, but I, I, I guess he's dead. <laughs> it's like, I heard bullets and you're the person who came out alive, so good job. Guy, I, you, I don't dog. even remember this guy's name other than Jimenez. And the only reason I know he's called, I, I remember he's called Jimenez is because his brother is called Jimenez. Vascalero. Hernando. Is it Hernando? Jimenez. Jimenez. Jimenez is the second name. Jimenez. Hernando. I think it's something like that. I think it was Hernando. I don't remember. It was probably said in this episode. It was either or it was Joffrey. Joffrey. Yeah, he's an asshole. Mm. Joffrey Jimenez. I was deciding whether to upgrade now or later, but uh, we're going to go explore one more place before we upgrade. Ah, uh, the old pig factory. I noticed that I've yet to see you kill a pig yet. I'm not I gonna kill a pig. Stuffed with green goo. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a ghost who's on fire. Bye. Pleasant. Yeah, I know. I mean, my head is pounding now. <laughs> That's nothing new. No, no, I'm not always hungover. Sometimes I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, but then your head's hurting, but you don't feel it. Well, um, yeah, I guess. I was making sure there's nothing in it, but there's basically fuck all in this room. It's boxes. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's some weird spider webs that are totally <laughs> intact. <laughs> They're ghost spider webs. To go with the ghost oh, who is on fire. Doggies. Yeah, see, the the bullets have got wolves on them. Nope, oh, I didn't mean to. No, give me. The no, fuck you, bottle. I want the gel. <laughs> yeah, we got a note. Look. It's the villagers note. They got Norman. His cries for help just cut off. I can hear him screaming every night. If I don't say hidden, I know I'll be next. Mm. I was trying to look like if there's like a dead body in here, but there isn't. I really thought there would be a corpse in the bed. Yeah, Ooh, there isn't. Hi, buddy. Yeah, there's a syringe behind that picture, but we have four syringes. Yeah, I'm really sad that there isn't there. Uh, there isn't like a hidden person. Mm. 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 Yeah. What up, Doc? I mean, like, he seems kind of nonplussed about how weird you're being. Yeah, so we're gonna go upgrade before we go into the next bit of the chapter. That right now is what my brain feels like. <laughs> uh, trying to think what we get. I think we just get more carrying shit. Oh yeah, we actually upgrade grenades. Yay! Banana. Yeah, so we got some grenades. That's about it. Sweet. This isn't sighing. Yeah, I know, I just love how sort of like, just... It's really weird that needles in the brain will give you really cool grenades. It's true. What's I gonna put out there? I like the design of stick grenades far more than an actual grenade. Why did we ever leave the stick behind? It seems like they're easy to throw. I believe they're really ineffective and broke a lot. Uh. Help! Help! What's wrong with this kid? So yeah, uh, the dead ghost left goo behind that I didn't realize was there. All right. I did not notice either, so we're all good. Oh, hi there, puppet face man. Eagles? I think they're supposed to be bird scarecrows. Yeah, they look like birdies.
that was probably worth checking. It's really annoying. Like I just there. he he um he screamed. Like there's basically a thing where the doctor's telling me to go downstairs, but then I walked over the trigger for like the next thing, so that he just started talking about something else instead. Yeah, what? Where am I? So now we go down to the creepy ass basement. Oh sweet! This is one well built place. Yeah, it's got creepy red lights and everything. Yeah, it's it's amazing how basements come with creepy mood lighting. Hey, look an Atashi case. <laughs> oh yeah. It'd be so mean if it was just a bomb inside an Atashi a uh, shotgun. Oh, that's probably like another shotgun if you didn't get it the first. I time. think it might be, but I've never seen it not be shotgun ammo because I've never not picked the shotgun up. Yeah, I that's totally got to be actually the shotgun. What's in there? It's a dark room. Okay. Everyone knows dark rooms aren't creepy. I do love how silent they make it. Yeah, it's really cool. Also, that uh, the, this wall of photos was in the intro cutscene thing, like the actual. Oh thing. yes, it was. And that was ch that chair as well. Like this exact thing was in the intro thing. So I guess it's valid for some reason. Maybe you stayed here. Maybe. Maybe maybe those are all the pictures of all the serial people oh, you murdered. Oh, thank heavens. Dr. is here. Settle down. Wait, Doc. I think something's coming. Chainsaw? No, there's nothing there. What are you talking about? Settle down. There's literally nothing. Oh, invisible creepers. <laughs> it's full mind flare. This place is a death trap. Is there anywhere safe at all? I think that's unlikely. <laughs> Look at his little wiggle walk. You have like four mind flares now. Can't get out. We must be going this way. Can't get away. Can't get away. Okay. There's a delicious floor goop. There is. So now we have to be aware of the fact that there are mind flares. <laughs> it's fucking invisible elephants. Mm-hmm. The stairs are gone. We must be collectively losing. See, that's the first time I think that Sebastian has acknowledged that things are kind of really losing weird. Our minds, losing our minds, losing our minds. Okay. I always think he has such a big tongue. <laughs> he does. What's up, Rubik? Rubik, it is you. Ah! Mercy. Who the hell are you? No. So I tried this bit, it's like, I was like, okay, does something happen if you don't? But no. It literally just waits for you to, like, run after him. Oh, okay. Doctor, like, you can't not Leslie. run after him. It, it just doesn't do anything. Fuck. At least you're succinct. That's probably how I would react. Yeah. Fuck. Ugh. Yeah, come on. Oh. It's just, it's just a lot of jam. Gelatin! Oh, here we go. Did you just wake up in the same vat from the first part? No, it's just another grody-ass vat that means we just have more of the diseases. What is going on here? You got all those fresh hepatitis as is again. Yeah. So, this is a switch that I, when I actually played through the Evil Within, like, for my first time ever, I totally didn't know that the switch was here, and it makes this area so much easier. Oh. <laughs> it just drains it. It just drains the gloop. The glo mm -hmm. We're just going to make some agony boats as well. For, for no no particular reason. No, I mean, the avatar doesn't make me think of it. Did you just try and... I pressed the wrong button. Shut up. Moving okay. on. Okay. We're going back to here. So the real reason you want to drain it, apart from making it easier to move around, there's a grenade there. Sweet. So we now have two grenades and a bunch of crap. There's, like, tons of traps and stuff around in this area. So it would seem. There's like trip wires and oil you can light on fire and bombs. And um, we're not going to deal with any of it. Instead, what we're going to do... Yep. It really uh -huh. wants us to go towards that door, but I'm trying to get these trap parts. It's like, no, I want... I want... There they are. Yeah. Instead, what we're going to do is just leave these crossbow bolts around in just various inane places. Oh, for, okay. for like no reason. No, no reason at all, you know. See, we're just decorating the place, you know, with like these giant steel flowers of death and explosions. 
Okay, cool. And they look pretty too, because you know it's a red light. Well, yeah. And you don't have to put on the red light. Yeah. Ah, shit. Roxanne! Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of people. I'm just gonna throw grenades at them. <laughs> and just shotgun to finish off the rest. Fair enough. It's so, much, souls, so I guess. much easier. They're not quite all done, but that's like the vast majority of them all dead. Also, what? Like, that guy not dying pissed me off. I was like, what the? He stood on the guy who's yeah, on fire. Yeah, so in the fire. I thought that was going to be a slick combo there, and it just didn't happen. Yeah. So we're just going to leave another mine, and we're going to stand by this conveniently flammable oil. I mean, I could have killed this guy way easier, but I really wanted to show off just, just setting the oil on fire. To be honest, I think you hit him with it anyway, and he set the oil on fire with his body. Probably. So yeah, that's the like super easy way to deal with all that shit. Super quick, easy cleanup. Yeah. Wow, really only one goo? That seems a bit cheapskatey, considering you killed a legion. Well, one thing I forgot to show, so this is actually from ages ago. This is when I was showing off other stuff, and I put it back in. Uh, there, if you pull this lever, a body falls down. But if you pull it again, a statue falls down. Ah, useful. So, uh, yeah. If I, and this is while I show off like more of the trick wise you didn't really see because I was setting up death traps. So there's like one there, just running yep. straight across. I remember seeing that when you did your uh, quick uh, crossbow wall swing mm -hmm. fiasco. There's one right there as well, but that one doesn't explode. That makes spikes come down from the ceiling. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, and that's a key. So that gives us our second key for this chapter. Alright, so now we've dealt with all those guys and made them all explode, let's let's just continue our way. Like, nothing can possibly go, like, worse from here, right? No, you got this. Under control. Exactly. Ruvik. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just expecting you to open the door into Ruvik jabbing you in the crotch or something. Oh, you're gonna love, the, right. you're gonna love the end of this chapter. Walls are bleeding. Cool. D that or someone just got, like, went into the wall super fast. It's so, oh, they hit it so hard, they perforated. Yeah, exactly. Oh, is that dead doctor? Is that Leslie? Is Leslie dead? Oh. Oh, what's up? Oh, I remember that thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, she is She is easily my favorite designed enemy in this game. She is yeah, she's awesome. so horrifically awesome. And this is the lovely death animation that she does to you. Yeah. Pulp. Pulp. <laughs> yeah. And then she'll... She'll make out that neck. Mm, yeah, that neck. So instead what we do, uh, I want to show the best way to get the gel in this room is literally just to immediately sprint for it. If you spend like any time trying to grab it, you will just get murdered by her. Fair enough. Shit, I'd better run. Yeah, no kidding, buddy. Didn't you know she bursts your head with punches? So this is kind of cool. I like the what, what they do here. That door is locked. I didn't actually try it on this thing, but it's locked. And then they make him run out and she murders him. Sweet. Oh, wait, I think that's really cool. Just like a nice little uh, touch. Yeah, yeah, because you're, you're, you're like, oh, the door isn't... I'm fucked. So what you do is we're just going to seal the door on her and it's fine, right? Yeah, of course. She can't there get... you go, that worked. Yeah, she can't get through now. Yeah. And there's goo on the floor there. I know, right? There's goo. It's all great. Goo and there's... Oh, shit. Some, something's happening. Wouldn't burning the body stop her from doing that? Maybe it would. Oh, her hair is not... It's kind of funny because she literally can't get down here. Nice. Yeah, so I mean, what ha what would happen if we burnt the bodies? Yeah, she literally can't come out of them. You, you burnt them away. Sweet. I'm pretty sure you can literally be in this room forever now without her murdering you. I mean, it would be a really annoying sound experience for you to do so, though. What are you talking about? <laughs> This is, this is the new best, greatest hit. By her. I wasn't aware it was all written by Nine Inch Nails, and they used Nine, Nine Inch, Inch Nails, Nails to do every it? sound. Hey, she follows you. You can't stop her following you, basically. 
Also, they, I want to point out they're really mean. They put that trigger for the spin around to see it climbing down just as you're about to run into the second tripwire. So if you don't remember it's there, you immediately walk into it. Bitches. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, you want that burn, right? So she's <laughs> to come the fuck out. And she will you. entirely come out inside the elevator, but it's fine. We are now safe. There's no way she can follow us. Sweet. It's awesome. We are totally... Oh, fuck, they put a body out there as well. <laughs> oh, <crap. laughs> They fucking, like, they fucking, like, troll you so hard there, because they're just like, oh, there's a body, you could burn it, you're like, yes, I'm safe, and then it's like, yeah, they just put one at the bottom of the elevator anyway. <laughs> like, if you don't burn the one in the lift, she comes out of the one in the lift. Alright. Damn it. That was close. Surely you've just seen her do way more, you should keep running. Oh, look, just in case you really didn't have a shotgun yet. <laughs> I guess so. Well, it's, it's the one bullet as well, which is like the always the staple if you find a gun on the floor. It's like, oh, look, a new gun. It's got one round in it. Yeah, it's true. So now we're in what I, rem like, it reminds me of the missile silo from Goldeneye. What's up, bro? It's, it's Rubik. Let's go past him. Ah, uh uh, who? <laughs> <laughs> what? He, he literally kills you with a touch. He just makes you explode. I, I just thought it was funny because you were mentioning it's like, oh, does Grubik like punch you in the crotch or something? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but you also uh, you also like, explode. Oh, look at him wiggle feet after you. He's like, hurt. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, you totally don't. I did. I shot him to like show off what it does. You totally don't want to shoot him because it makes him get yeah, to you faster. Yeah, makes him get closer apparently. Yep. Eh, oh, yeah, you're still fucked. Yeah, this is my favorite. This is my favorite uh, transition in the game. It's so cool. Oh, that is really neat. Yep. And everyone knows you can survive any fall, so... Well, yeah, because we only fell, like, a meter. True, but you also slammed into a wall at terminal velocity. We Just did. putting that one out there. So, yeah, that is chapter four. That, that literally ends there. Wait, was that the rainbow symbol on the uh, wall there? It might have been. Fun times. I enjoyed it very much. I mean, my head is pounding. I don't appreciate that portion, but otherwise... Good time.